I've seen more and more people escape Ahrefs because of their new credit system. And the tool I'm reviewing today is the SEO tool that they're switching to. So I want to compare how it goes head to head with the big SEO tools like SEMrush and Ahrefs. And the tool I'm reviewing today is Dragon Metrics. So let's test and compare it. Dragon Metrics has a lot of SEO modules, just like Ahrefs and SEMrush but I'll primarily focus on four, and that's the four main modules that are part of any SEO tool. Those four modules are keyword research, competitor research, site audit, and the explorer. But let's start with the keyword research tool. And when you start with the keyword research tool, there are basically two ways you can do it and a bonus way. The two ways are either you do it completely normal where you enter a C keyword and then you get a lot of keyword ideas based on that or you use the keyword gap method, which is also part of the competitor research module. But let's start with the keyword research completely normal where we enter a C keyword and let's see how many keyword ideas we get. And I'll just start super simple entering best SEO as my keyword. So I allow for a lot of ideas. Hopefully I will see keywords such as best SEO tools, best SEO tools for beginners, best SEO agencies, and in this kind of genre. And it is also what I'm seeing. So on that part, it's doing great. But when I compare to SimRush, where I ran the exact same search, there is a huge gap in the amount of keywords it suggests. So on Dragon Metrics, I got around 700 keyword ideas, but on SimRush, I got more than 14,000 keyword ideas, which is a huge difference. It's massive. And that also tells me that SimRush database is so much bigger than Dragon Metrics. Even though the keywords from Dragon Metrics were quite good, they were just not comparable to SimRush. SEMrush is still a much larger database when it comes to keyword research, but that's only one test. Let's see how it does with the keyword gap analysis, which is part of the competitor research. In the keyword gap, I really like that I can enter up to five other domains to compare my website to. And once you run it, then you have different parameters you can sort by. You can choose whether to see all the keywords you have in common, all the keywords you're not ranking for. And then of course you can start writing content for those keywords. But again, let's compare it because when I ran it in Dragon Metrics and I compared my website to Ahrefs, which is a huge SEO website, it found that we had around 200 keywords in common. And I did the exact same search on SEMrush, but SEMrush found around 370 keywords we had in common, so almost double. And then I looked into the keywords I was not ranking for, but Ahrefs were ranking for. And here again, there was a huge difference because Dragon Metrics found around 45,000 keywords that I could target whereas SimRush found around 82,000 keywords. So again, a huge difference, close to being double. And this just again proves my point that SimRush database is almost twice the size as Dragon Metrics. And the reason that I think it's fair to compare these tools against each other is because they are in the same price range. If you pay SimRush yearly, it costs almost 99 US dollars. And that's the same with Dragon Metrics. So they're definitely in the same class. I know that Dragon Metrics has a lot of modules that SimRush might not have, or they're doing it better than SimRush. But these modules that I'm comparing right now are the core modules of any SEO tool. So those are definitely interesting to compare to see where you get the most value and whether Dragon Metrics is actually doing it better than SimRush and Ahrefs. I tried the ranking module as well in the competitor research. And here I was actually thinking that I could compare the rankings from my competitors to my rankings. But this is more of the Explorer module, which I will come back to. Next, I tried the link gap module. And this is quite good because here I could compare the backlinks that were going to my competitors, but not linking to my domain. And then of course I could slowly start targeting them. Of course, it's not as easy because you need to reach out to them and figure out how you could provide some value to them. And that's the difficult part. So back to the Explorer, which is a type of way of you spying on your competitors. Because once you enter a domain into the Explorer, you get a massive amount of information. And the Explorer, they call the ranking research, but it's basically the same as an Explorer in Ahrefs, SEMrush, and even Key Search. For each domain, you can see traffic, you can see backlinks, but you can also see all the keywords they're ranking for, which is super interesting to add to your own keyword research. And what I really like about the Explorer is that I can analyze a specific page on either my own website, but also on a competitor's website. So I can see all the keywords that specific page is ranking for, what they're doing, what type of backlinks they have, and then I can use that research to improve my own content. Maybe there are some keywords I'm not covering well enough, or there are some easy backlinks I can acquire. That is the interesting part, and I don't have a finger to put on the Explorer. It's a great module, and it does the same as Ahrefs and even SimRush as well. 
really great. And then we have the side audit. And if you've been watching for a while on this channel, you know I'm a huge fan of Ahrefs side audit. Not only is it free, but it just goes so much in depth and it's easy to use. And I tested Dragon Metric side audit as well. And you have to remember when you run these types of side orders, you have to take it with a grain of salt because it will show you a lot of issues that might not be relevant to your website. For example, with the Dragon Metric side audit, I ran the side audit and it told me that I had a lot of pages that were no indexed and that was on purpose. I don't want to index my pagination pages because it doesn't make sense to rank that on Google. That will just be spammy to put on Google. Even though Google is smart enough to know this, it just helps that you make sure that you know index those pages. But overall, it did a decent job at finding the issues on my website. I do wish that it will make the navigation a bit easier than just a drop down. And I also like that I can go in and exclude URL. So I could go in and say, just ignore all the pagination pages because they're supposed to be no indexed. They could also do it in a way where they separated the index pages from the no index pages. So I could focus on the index pages first and then secondary the no index pages. There are a lot of opportunities here to make it easier because right now it finds the issues, but it's just not easy to navigate between the issues. You can also analyze a specific page and get even more information, find all the issues on that page and see what you need to improve based on the research that Dragon Metrics gives you. So this is just a step deeper, which is really great if you want to improve specific content pieces on your website. Of course, Dragon Metrics offers a lot more than just these four modules, but these are the four modules that I use most in any SEO tool. And now I've compared it to especially SEMrush and I've also done it to Ahrefs and it's just not comparable in my opinion. Dragon Metrics is still behind. And even though you get more with Dragon Metrics because they don't have the credit system, the data you're working with is just not the same compared to SEMrush or Ahrefs. So if you're really tired of the credit system from Ahrefs, I would recommend going to SEMrush. Dragon Metrics you could go to if you're an agency and you need to build reports because they have a really advanced report module where you can build beautiful reports and only include the information you need to include. That said, I am overall impressed by Dragon Metrics. They do give some great functionality and they have my favorite SEO module, which is the Keyword Gap module. It's so easy to use, and even though it's not the biggest database, it still gives me keywords I can work on. They also have features where you can track featured snippets people also ask on the specific keywords that you're rank tracking already. So those small features are definitely interesting to dive into if you want to target that, because that's a secondary way of getting traffic to your website. But I want to give Dragon Metrics four stars. There's no doubt that Dragon Metrics is a top-notch SEO tool, but it's still a bit behind Ahrefs and SEMrush. And there are three things I really hope they will focus on, and that's improving the design to make it more modern, decrease the price a bit, and then increase the database size. But if you want to see another SEO tool that is comparable with Ahrefs and SEMrush and costs only $17, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.